Business Focus brought to you by KCB. KCB making the difference. Good evening and a warm welcome to this episode of Business Focus. We're glad you could join us as we bring you stories that can enrich you with entrepreneurial skills. My name is Joy Doreen Bira. Let's start by taking a look at what's coming up on the show tonight. We take a look at sports tourism and identify some of the untapped opportunities. We review emerging opportunities in conferencing from a story of an entrepreneur behind Lukenya Getaway. We take you to Moranga County where an entrepreneur is ripping from sports tourism. As always, we welcome your feedback on our Facebook and Twitter handle displayed on your screen. You can also email us bf at standardmedia.co.ke or SMS 8041. Business Beyond Limits this week looks at sports tourism. Has it been fully exploited? And what are some of the business opportunities that entrepreneurs can exploit? It is no doubt that Kenya is a nation of great sporting talent. Sports has become a part of us, with our sportsmen and women making us proud as they participate and win in major world competitions. It is also a fact that Kenya is one among the most popular tourist destinations in Africa and perhaps these two facts are the clear indications that our country is also a destination for sports tourism. Sports tourism basically is uh bringing people into the country who want to participate in the sports activities and also view, watch sport activities being done. Kenya, being as famous as it is in tourism, is actually equally famous, if not more famous, in sports. You know, and that is an area that we need to combine and tap into so we can be able to not just have tourists coming to see our wildlife, flora and fauna, but also, you know, taking advantage of the fact that we have the best, you know, sports and, you know, uh, uh, fraternity in Kenya, in athletics, in, in, in rugby and other areas that we can be able to tap in on. You know, if we take advantage of that, like the way we are taking advantage of the, uh, of the um, opportunities that we have for uh, tourism, then we can actually build a totally different, you know, and take this to the next level. In the recent past, sports tourism has continued to gain recognition in Kenya, slowly becoming a significant part in Kenya's tourism sector. Recent times have seen some of the world-renowned sportsmen and women visit Kenya to sample some of the country's best tourist sports as well as unique cultures. Usain Bolt, the world's fastest man in 100 and 200 meter races, is among those who have visited Kenya to sample the plenty found within our borders. We've got two things playing out for us. Altitude, this is one country where you can go from sea level to over 5,000 feet above sea level. That is excellent for sports because when you're at sea level, there are certain things that happen to your body that, that cannot happen when you're at a high altitude. Your performance actually is enhanced when you train at high altitude and compete at sea level. So those are some of the things that we need to be able to tap into. You know, I was, I'm a graduate actually of the Olympic Academy in Greece. And one of the things that people say, you know, Kenya, do you have an Olympic Academy? We don't even have an Olympic Academy. We don't have sports, dedicated sports centers that we can be able to actually use to enable people to you know, to take, you know, to sports and, and so we can enhance our sports tourism. Kenyan athletes are well known for their prowess in marathon races. Corporates have used this to promote sports tourism as well as benefit the community as participants run for a course. The annual Loa Marathon, Stanchet Marathon, as well as the Matahat Run are attracting a significant number of local and foreign tourists, therefore playing a crucial role in growing the country's economy. Kenya is known to be an athlete country. When we go abroad there for exhibitions, like when I was in Netherlands, when they see me dressed with the magical Kenya um, clothing, they, they just shout, Kenya, athletics, athletics. And in that situation, you find many people come to this country. This country is very potential for sports tourism. 
but it is not yet tapped. The number of athletes from foreign countries coming to train in Kenyan land has been on the rise with many visiting the famous Kipchoge Keino Training Center in Eldoret and Kapserbet, centers which have produced the best athletes in the world. What is sports tourism all about? What kind of, what kind of activities can we look at that will really help to boost this particular area? I don't know how many of you know that Kenya actually has one of the longest caves is actually number two in the world the longest caves in the world up in the Kulus, you know where and caving is is a wonderful sport that actually has a lot of people that will attract a lot of people to the country now um the caves in the Kulus, one of them is about let's say, 11 kilometers long that's how long it is it's number two in the world caving is something that has not been explored but let's start from the from from the coast from the coast we've got big game fishing Tapped, yes, but not that much. How much more can we do? We've got scuba, you know, diving. We've got scuba diving, one of the top destinations for scuba diving in the world. Yet we haven't, you know, been able to tap in into it. This, these are opportunities that are available. If you go up towards the north in Malindi, you know, that's where they, that has been the home of big game fishing for years, since some of us were very young. But we haven't really picked up to the point where we can then say, you know, we can, you can go to Kenya and, and actually enjoy, you know, uh, that sport, you know, catch your marlin, a black marlin or a blue marlin and things like that. So there's a lot of that that really hasn't been, that hasn't been tapped. Kenya is well endowed with natural sports friendly settings. Therefore, there is a good number of sporting activities available for local as well as foreign tourists. Many people don't really look at tourism as a real sector where they can produce more money. But I will tell you outside there, when you go to Cape Town and you see the barricade of uh, boats and uh, fishing boats which are around, you may be astonished. When you go to Netherlands, the same. So many ships. When you go to Kisumu, you'll find it is a vacant uh, lakeshore. So we are lacking a lot. A lot should be done in the sports tourism sector. Football, rugby, water sports, golf, as well as horse racing are some of the sporting events held in Kenya over the year. The annual Rugby Safari Sevens brings best teams across the world and so does the annual Kenya Open Golf Tournament. These events bring the world to Kenya each year. Going forward, stakeholders in the tourism and sports sectors must put emphasis on activities that promote sports tourism and, well, Kenya just might be the next big destination for sports tourism. So let's take our tourism that we already have and then bring in the sports element into it. So we are now attract attracting another breed of people who will come in and actually do it. If we set up the right facilities, one of the problems that we've had is not really setting up the right facilities. If we set up the right facilities, for sporting activities within the areas where we already have existing tourism uh, going on, then sports tourism will be another segment that we can be able to tap in on. So it is actually a viable thing that we can be able to do. We can all find different tourist destinations all over the world, but what will make us unique is taking advantage of our fame in sports to be able to build on it, to enhance our tourism and to create that different and new, unique outlet that we can have of sports tourism. In Emerging Enterprises, we highlight a story of an entrepreneur who saw an opportunity in conferencing, grabbed it and turned it into a viable business. She is the lady behind the Lukenya getaway. This and much more coming up after the short break. Don't go away. KCB Group has been actively involved in the development of sports tourism through its sponsorship of various sports disciplines, namely the Kenya National Rally Championship Series, KCB Athletics Kenya Cross Country Championships, KCB Advantage Banking Golf Tour, KCB Football Club and KCB Volleyball Women Team. The sporting activities have encouraged travel for either spectators or participating teams to many parts of the country. Sports tourism really is um Tourism through sport, uh, people who, uh, who engage uh, in tourist activities uh, who are involved in sports, in sports events. For example, people who travel uh, 
to watch sports events around the world or even here in Kenya uh, and spend money just because of uh, as a spectator. Kenya has plenty of tourist attraction sites which include the Great Rift Valley, national parks, museums, wildlife orphanages, craft galleries, mountains, freshwater lakes and numerous bird species for the visiting sports enthusiasts to enjoy. KCB has been tremendous uh, as, as a bank and as a, as a powerhouse in the region in terms of supporting sports tourism. And, and personally, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a banker with, uh, I bank with KCB and they've been really supportive, especially the events I do, um, events I organize, they've come in as, as sponsors, as partners. And in the larger picture, you know, they sponsor many, many, uh, many tournaments, many activities, sporting activities. The biggest, of course, is the KCB Rally. From the Maralal International Camel Derby, Lewa Marathon to Rhino Charge, there's a wide range of spectacular sporting activities spread throughout the year. There are also unique sporting spectacles born out of exotic cultural heritage, including Lamu Donkey Derby, Cork and Bullfights in Kakamega. Increased publicity of their sporting events have raised the country's profile and increased the number of fans who want to have a first-hand experience. Sport tourism is a fast-growing sector of the global travel industry and equates to 52 trillion shillings, equivalent to 600 billion US dollars a year. Entrepreneurs identify opportunities and convert them into gold mines. One such entrepreneur is Anne Mahinda, a lady who has combined sports and leisure, establishing a one-of-its-kind relaxation spot in Kenya. As you enter this compound situated in the sparsely populated area of Lukenya, the serene gardens with several sporting activities going greets your eye. Question is, how did the idea of establishing this place come to the fore? Lukenya began about 12 years ago when my husband and I were approached by some people who are living in our estate in Nairobi and uh, they were working in Desta University. They had just found uh, about a 10 piece of land and they wanted us to join them in developing the land together. So we joined them together with other families, so 10 of us and um, each had an acre. And about uh, four of us developed our plots. We were able to build our own home in year 2000. Anne and her family were however not ready to move into the area yet and therefore she opened her house to her work colleagues, friends and other guests. Little did she know that this gesture was to become an eye opener for her. They began to tell us that this, people, this place was beautiful in its own way and that gave us the idea of uh, starting a, a, a retreat. We, we, we actually wanted to start up a place for families, couples to come out and just um, uh, relax and reconnect. So that's how it began. Lukenya Getaway has since transformed with its serenity making it a perfect getaway for corporate events, family outings and even individuals. Its on-site gardens offer the visitors a unique chance to relax and enjoy the atmosphere. So we began with a house with four bedrooms, but uh, after two years we put up the cottages. We put up uh, four cottages and after a year we, we did another four cottages, each with, with three rooms. That was uh, around 2003-2004 and during that time we would have uh, groups coming over the weekends mainly. And like other businesses in the hospitality industry, Lukenya Getaway has ventured into conferencing, a business module that has enabled them attract huge business both locally and beyond borders. We changed to conferencing a long time ago. Uh, our, one of our, my husband's friends actually told him, you know, business is really not in, uh, in families, business is in conference rooms. Initially, just those early days, and so we changed and we built our first two conference rooms about, um, about eight years ago. And so from that time, our focus has actually been conferencing and team building. 
We offer conferencing facilities. We have a total of seven conference rooms and a dome which can hold uh, up to 500 people. The seven conference rooms are located depending on the, the numbers. Like uh, our largest one can host uh, around 200 people, theater style. The environment around the getaway allows visitors to do their conference sessions and take a break through activities such as team building and bonding. These activities allow them to have a feel of relaxation and also brings them together. Our slogan is quiet, peaceful and personal. So people want a place where they can come, just uh, where they find this serene environment away from the hustle and bustle of the city. You know, in the city there's so much noise, there's, uh, there's the traffic, but then when you come to Lukenya, because it's actually one against the traffic flow. So you, you come here, it's 40 kilometers from town, and then now from the main road to, to Lukenya itself is 4.6 kilometers. So one, that is a selling factor because um, we are away from the city. And um, then the other thing is our non -alcohol, no alcohol policy. So um, when a group comes, when a group checks in, especially for team building, team building is about bonding. I look at the groups and I see how they are being taken care of. And at times we have groups that check in on uh, Monday, check out on Wednesday, others check in on Tuesday, check out on Saturday. So the numbers keep changing, but on average, a good week, 100 people is really good. Anne tells us that conferencing has enabled her attract business from many organizations. With modern, well-designed residential rooms, clients have more than they can ask for. Lukenya Getaway handles hundreds of residential guests every week. Kenya is a beautiful country, but it takes the mind of an entrepreneur to identify a business opportunity and develop it into a viable business. Meet William Kinuthia, an entrepreneur living a boyhood dream and is the mind behind the Rapids Camp in Sagana, Moranga County. A Rapids Camp is a boyhood dream. Uh, actually, the idea and the dream uh, started when I came here when I was only 14 years old. Yeah, so quite low, I mean, uh, many years ago. So I just came, I was in Fort, uh, Form 1. Then I just decided to come and visit uh, relatives. And uh, once, uh, when I reached the place, uh, there was that sound of a waterfall, which was amazing to me. And uh, basically, I was really eager to see the waterfall itself. And when I came here, because of the beauty of the waterfall, I made a commitment and a vow when I grow up, I'll come back here and build this camp. True to his commitment, he came back to this area years later and established this amazing campsite, making a great contribution to sports tourism in the country. The camp has over time gained recognition not only within, but internationally as well. It's an amazing place and the reason why I call Rapids an amazing place because the features around here, you'll not see them anywhere in the country. And uh, not only that, Rapids Camp was voted by International Canoeing Federation as the best water sport in Africa, yeah, area. Uh, so we do uh, slalom, slalom or kayaking for that matter. So, and in 2008, we hosted the first ever uh, kayaking games in Africa. We were privileged to do so. And uh, of course, some Olympic uh, qualifier games were done here. Over 16 countries participated in the year 2008 January. Uh, in the next uh, two months or so, uh, 20th October, we'll have again um, uh, uh, African Championship in, in terms of kayaking and canoeing, again at the Rapids Camp. Rapids is of no doubt one of the unique campsites here in Kenya and the region as a whole. The ambience and roar of waterfalls in the background give it an unmistakable difference and the most memorable feeling. This makes the place a perfect getaway for water sports and other sporting activities. We have over 23 uh, activities at the Rapids. Uh, no other camp offers this kind of activities. We have many, many activities uh, ranging from rock climbing. Uh, we also have uh, kayaking, we have canoeing, we have rafting. Uh, then we have what we call uh, jumping uh, the 50-foot waterfall. It's called the plunge. 
We have also stress-free programs. We have men's bathroom. Uh, then a little bit also we have, uh, we have also uh, water glides yeah, and, and angels ball. All these activities are thrilling in, in nature. And um, uh, basically they are only found in Sagana. And uh, the most amazing thing about it all, they are here at the rapids. And uh, many uh, uh, local uh, guys like this because we, uh, the, the, the idea about uh, having this was to actually bring in the locals to do this, or Kenyans for that matter, not only tourism, but the adventure uh, part of it, we wanted to market uh, Rapids as a leading adventure destination in Kenya, and which is true, it is at the moment. Rapids targets the local market, though William tells us that this market is yet to open up. The camp attracts a significant number of clients, largely the corporates. And our activities are geared into, uh, they have a theme and a purpose. And the theme is we look at what we call leadership in the activities. We look at uh, something called uh, working together, uh, uh, cohesiveness, and especially corporates uh, that do come. And they find this program as a very good uh, program for their uh, growth. As, as companies, yeah, because uh, you, the activities are geared to working together as a team. Though William is proud of the achievements he has made so far, to him the sky is the limit and he will not stop at anything until he sees Rapids Camp to the highest level of success. Uh, there is a lot to do uh, because also I'm looking at uh, doing Rapids as a full lodge. Yeah, we have the, uh, the, the the, we have um, actually the drawings, uh, which is a full lodge. We, have, we will do cottages, we will do other things. But of course, any business, there, was, there is the aspect of uh, financial constraints. And every young person, of course, you can see I'm a little bit younger, middle age. So every person, we, we, we don't want, we, we, we say it as a rapids board, that we don't want to just rush into a bank and collect uh, $5 million to do all that, but we want to do it in uh, stages, with faces. So uh, as an entrepreneur, yes, the business has grown 300% uh, uh, growth in the last two years. Uh, but again, uh, any business uh, financial constraints are, but we are putting measures into it to see that the business grows, yes, to the next level. With entrepreneurs like William and good government as well as stakeholder goodwill, Kenya is of no doubt going to be the best sports tourism destination. Rapids as, as, as a camp has made water sports grow in, in Kenya. These, uh, it was very new, uh, it was a new sport, but now because we are able to uh, uh, do the sports year round and provide the facilities, the sport has really grown in Kenya. Yes, so that's our major contribution, seeing that uh, sports tourism is growing in this country, other than that the normal uh, uh, markets like uh, the safari and, and the coastal beaches. And that's it that we had for you in this edition of KTN Business Focus. But before we go, I would like to say it takes courage to pursue your dreams and it takes patience to see them come true. In case you have any story you'd like us to feature on Business Focus, do email us bf at standardmedia.co.ke or SMS 8041. This conversation continues online on our Facebook and Twitter pages. And remember, you can always be a part of this conversation. My name is Joy Doreen Bira from the rest of the KTN team and myself. Thank you all for watching. God bless and good night. Business Focus, brought to you by KCB. KCB, 
making the difference.